A common problem during a lift with an overhead crane or a gantry crane system is not having clear communication between the operator and the workers in the facility. Now, in this video, we're going to cover some of the basic overhead crane hand signals and responsibilities to help your team learn how to do just that. Welcome back to the Lifting and Rigging channel. My name is Devin and today we're going to cover some basic crane hand signals for overhead cranes and gantry cranes. We're also going to cover some responsibilities for those of you using them in your facility. Now for this, we're going to be looking at the ASME and OSHA standards. The hand signals for overhead cranes and gantry cranes can be found in ASME B30.2. The responsibilities we're going to use are found in the OSHA Code of Federal Regulations 1926.1419. Let's start with roles and responsibilities. Looking at OSHA's CFR standard 1926.1419, we see that there are several situations where a signal person must be provided on a job site to help with communication. They cover obstructed view, obstructed pathways, and overall safety concerns. There is a link in the description of this video if you want to keep it with your planning materials. Prior to writing your lift plan, it's best practice to review the job safety analysis and working height risk assessment. Those documents can help refresh you and the crane operator to any hazards that exist on your job site. Once it's established whether or not you need a signal person, it's important to assign that role to an individual worker and make sure that the rest of the crew understands who that is. There may be exceptions where an obstruction might cause you to require a second signaler, but the same rules apply. Before any lifts are made, ensure that standard hand signal training has been given to both the signaler and the crane operator, so there's no gap in understanding between the two of them. It's also a best practice to have documentation of that training on file. So, let's get into hand signals. The hand signals for overhead cranes and gantry cranes we'll be using are from the ASME B30.2 standard. Once the signal person is in a position that gives clear view to the load and the crane operator, you can begin your lift using the following hand signals. Let's start with the two of the most important hand signals you'll use, stop and emergency stop. Stop. Extend one arm, palm facing down, moving it horizontally back and forth. Emergency stop. Extend both your arms, palms facing down, and move them horizontally back and forth. Move slowly. Use one hand to give any motion with your other hand motionless above it. Raise the hoist. With your forearm vertical, fist closed and forefinger pointed up, rotate your hand in small horizontal circles to begin the lift. Lower the hoist. Arm extended downward, fist closed, forefinger pointed down, rotating in small circles. Bridge travel. Arm extended forward, hand open and slightly raised, make a pushing motion in the direction of travel. Trolley travel. Palm up, fingers closed, thumb pointed in direction of motion, jerk hand horizontally. Multiple trolleys. Hold up one finger for block mark one and two for block mark two. Regular signals follow. Magnet is disconnected. This last one is specifically to the crane operator. The operator will spread their arms out, shoulder height, with their palms facing up. I hope this video was able to give you a better understanding of the standards, responsibilities, and hand signals that can be used when making a pick with an overhead crane or a gantry crane system. Now, we cannot stress enough that if you're going to be making these kinds of picks, you should have your standards on hand for reference when writing your lifting plan or when training your coworkers on proper signaling techniques. If you'd like some help making sure you cover all of your bases when writing your lifting plan, follow the link above and download our free Lifting and Rigging Best Practices infographic. It'll help serve as a guide through more efficient and successful picks. If your team could use some additional training, either remote or in person, you're welcome to contact our training division to book a training program custom tailored to your business. And as always, feel free to like this video and share it with any of your coworkers that might benefit from learning more about hand signals. Thank you for watching this episode of the Lifting and Rigging channel. We'll catch you next time.